What's up guys? Today I want to talk to you about realistic, consistent, obtainable nutrition. Um, I think it's quite uh, an important topic um, and I'm governing this towards um, mainly people with uh, fa family, people, you know, with kids on the go, maybe crazy work hours, maybe students with crazy um, schedules, part-time work and classes and being able to essentially keep up your nutrition goals um, and your fitness goals. But, and the reason why I highlight this is because for the first lot of years while I did this, um, there was that sort of uh, feeling and belief that the only way to get through was uh, poultry and rice. That was it. Poultry and rice. I wake up, I have maybe two eggs, but the next meal is poultry and rice. The next meal is poultry and rice. And that was it, essentially. And it was poultry and rice with no sauce as well. It was the most kind. So it's that kind of belief system that to do this sort of nutrition, it requires a really boring food, which I'll get to. I mean, one thing I will say is the food, if you really want to hit your goals, you, you should be bored of your food. I mean, you can make it fun, but realistically, no one really wants to eat if you really want to go in depth of six meals a day. No one really wants to eat like that all the time. It's, it's very challenging mentally and physically. Um, you get all these coaches online where they'll say things like, and come with us and our nutrition goals. You see, our program is fun and tasty. Realistically, it's not. It's not. And sometimes you do need to put the, uh, your ju pay your dues with eating the uh, born meals sometimes. <clears throat> but how would you approach this to make the, your nutrition, and I get this right, manageable, consistent, and obtainable? That's good. So... I'm gonna give you an example right now. So it's Friday night, what we're doing is, I'm making homemade burgers. Now, what's the main ingredient of that? It's lean mints, 5% lean mints. High protein, and it's extraordinarily lean. Um, the carb source for that would be brioche. Brioche is a pretty good, actually, carb source. Um, especially if you're training, the carb source is no issue whatsoever, um, contrary to what people believe about carbs. Um, and then with it, sweet potato fries. Um, again, another amazing carb sauce. Um, so that's realistically for us, that would be considered as realistic nutrition, right? Because it's nutrition that A, we, we love to eat, it's tasty, we look forward to it every week, but also it's, it's realistic with our goals. I mean, I have a four-year-old and a three-year-old. So it's very, it's very important that, you know, People would say, you know, well, what's the difference of having kids and, and eating in a certain way? Well, there is a, there is a lot of difference. Um, for example, your schedule of meal timing can be really put upside down very quickly if something comes up with the kids. Or they're not eating their meals and you're having to help them with the meals and cook. You know, a lot of things can go wrong. And really only until you're a parent, you can really understand that happening. And then to the point where maybe you haven't eaten for four hours and then your brain automatically switches to <clears throat> uh, poor foods and poor choices. And this is another thing. To sort of mention, it's like, I always talk about realistic nutrition. Um, it's not impossible to eat like a monk and literally do the juice and eat chicken and rice all the time and, and extraordinarily really lean and quality nutrition. However, and what I always say is in society, we have all tasted the forbidden fruit and we are shackled by the industry of fast food right now. And it is extremely hard to remove ourselves from that. We have tasted the forbidden fruit of takeaways and fast food. And sometimes the treat with your loved ones in the weekend, it's very nice to sit down all together with some sort of fast food or takeaway. And I wouldn't be against that. And it's very hard that you, when you've tasted that to ignore that your whole life and go, I'm never going to touch that stuff. I'm just going to eat clean. That's not realistic. Come on. It's not realistic. You're going to want, to, you're going to crave that stuff and realistically you're going to eat it. So we need to work that into the schedule. And you can look phenomenal while eating those foods as well. But it's more satisfying your taste buds and your needs through uh, realistic nutrition throughout the week to the point where you don't feel like you've been, you're a beaten down monk eating the same things all the time. 
So for example, Friday nights, we don't need to feel the need to have a takeaway because the homemade burgers and sweet potatoes are delicious. It's delicious. And it's homemade. And I know what nutrition's going into it. That's a realistic nutrition. Another thing would be the approach to your uh, meals and lunchtime meals throughout the week and stuff. You may think like, okay, we need chicken and rice. There is plenty of foods that can replace born chicken, for example. You've got prawns, which no one really thinks about. Um, obviously, steak, salmon, um, you know, that's just thinking of meat. Um, carbohydrates, you know, born rice doesn't need to be rice. It can be noodles. It can be pasta. It can be white potato. It can be sweet potato. Again, there is many different angles. And at the end of the day, the macronutrient is the macronutrient, right? Now, yes, some things have different absorption rates. Steak has a higher content of amino acids. Uh, chicken is a lot leaner. But at the end of the day, the protein contents are quite similar. And in terms of different vitamins, like vitamin K from the chicken and stuff, you can replace that in other doses and with other things if you have a balanced diet. And it's important that we set these realistic and manageable nutrition goals because this game, as I keep saying, is, a, is the winners are the consistent ones. It's how long you can knock at this door for, how long you can put bits of concrete into the wall or clay into your, your physique over the years. And that's, the, that's really the trick here. That's a trick to looking good, staying relatively lean all year. It's implementing these things and not getting caught up and starting to enjoy the idea of nutrition and the, enjoy the idea of knowing what's going into your body, you know, and understanding that fats, carbs, and proteins are all equal. They're all very important. Um, and to also understand the fact that, yes, you're going to have takeaways, you're going to have chocolate, you're going to have ice cream at times, and that's completely fine. As long as you understand those foods and what they do and work them in to a rel relatively uh, sensible fashion. And that's just a quick chat on realistic nutrition. Again, I will do a video on my full day of eating, but I'll tell you my full day of eating now, seven, eight years in doing this naturally, um, is not chicken and rice all the time. Chicken and rice is there, but it's not all the time. The meals are very varied. Um, and I make use of all the different micronutrients and the carb sources and the protein sources. And I can tell you, I'm not really bored. The only thing that bores me is having to shove that food in me all the time. That's it. But other than that, um, it's completely fine. I'm not pulling my hair uh, out over it. But here's an idea you can try with you and your girlfriend, wife, Mrs. Mistress. Friday night burgers that you'll eat this meal, you'll think it's a cheap meal, but realistically, it's actually one of your, I call on meals, on meals being one of your good training meals. And anyway, if you liked the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And until the next time, I'll see you later.